Hey everybody, it's Richard Aramore Dag, and we've got a Seat Cupra, and we've got management light on and start stop error. Right, so we've got VCDS up here. We are on the uh, the engine controller. That's all the stuff you need to know about it. Two liter petrol, 2015 Cupra. It says 280 on the back, so we assume it's quite quick. So we've got heater pump, short ground. We've done a video on that the other day on a Mark 7 Golf, didn't we? Uh, zero RPM, so there's a key on fault by the looks of it for that one. EVAP. EVAP was it. Tick over, basically. Camshaft adjustment, bank one. Uh, zero RPM again, so that's key on fault. Exhaust camshaft adjustment, I assume the other one is intake, I guess. And that's it. Right, okay. Well, I'm going to save that and I'm going to come back in a second. We're going to clear that. I've got all my freeze frame. And I'm going to see what comes back. Right, so that's cleared. We still have heater pump short ground. Uh, yeah, zero RPM. Obviously, come just straight back. I haven't started the car yet. Short ground camshaft adjuster. Zero RPM. Zero RPM. All exactly the same. All short of the ground. Started up a minute. Oh, sorry. Let's go back in. Four fault goes, we've got the EVAP one back. Yeah, we've got the EVAP one back. All right, let's have a look at these under the bonnet. Okay, so under the bonnet, EVAP there. Camshaft adjustment, the little round things on the end. There and there, coolant pump somewhere. I don't know, we're gonna concentrate on these three because they're easy. So, Output tests. See if we can start one of them. Uh, inlet cam. Start. It's hot. Ah. No noise. Stop. Uh, exhaust. Again, hot, but not doing anything. EVAP. Not doing anything. Okay. Let's choose something that's not broken. Uh, that's easily to get to. Got the fuel supply intake manifold runner. That's that do. Start. Hear that ticking down there. Sorry, camera stop. Uh, so we'd hear that one's ticking. So we're happy with that. So we think that the tests are running. Uh, so next, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to disconnect these and see if I lose any of the shorts like it's a component shorted or not so I'm going to go for these three first I'll disconnect them and we'll see if we get open circuits or whether we lose the other codes and then we might be narrowed down to a component right so I've been disconnect testing and I haven't looked for this heater pump yet but that one's still short ground open circuit open circuit open circuit hasn't got rid of any of the short code 
um, but it does know that they're open so it's obviously monitoring something on all these I'll see this one so I'm gonna go find this coolant pump wherever that lives somewhere uh, I'm guessing it's different than that mark 7 the other day because that was a diesel one so we'll find that disconnect that and see if it plug all these back in and see if it gets rid of our short code right okay so I found this heater pump it's down the back of the engine you can see the heater matrix pipes here if you follow them down you'll feel they go into a, a pump down at the back it's got a little um, heat proof cover around it and you can disconnect the uh, the wire off of it so I disconnected the wire and that said open circuit as well the other codes didn't go away uh, what I didn't account for was of course being a short the ground which I should have thought of was I was going to get a blown fuse so put a fuse back in we've got battery voltage on our EVAP I've cleared all the codes and apart from open circuit on that heater pump the rest have gone away and don't come back now if I reach my hand down the back here and hopefully plug it in plugged in and there goes our voltage and the fuse is popped and I'd be willing to bet if we check on this again we'll have our short codes there we go so you've got open circuit short ground short class as well it's been disconnected uh, shorted, 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 shorted so we've got a shorted heater pump down the back of the engine there that uh, helps pump um, stuff up into the heater matrix I would guess so we are going to need to get a new pump on that and then that should be this sorted as I say just a blown fuse which was stopping it there but obviously they blew for a reason and the reason was that down the back so uh, yeah we got there in the end but uh, maybe I should check the voltage and see the fuse blown first but we still would have ended up in the same place having to disconnect each component to try and work out on this circuit which one's which um, so thanks for watching guys and come along to the next one